What's up, tribe? How you guys doing? This is going to be your review for Marriage <clears throat> Boot Camp Season, well, Hip Hop Edition, Season 16, Episode uh, 10. So, it is here. We're going to get the results of the lie detector test. I mean, they had a sleepover. Everything was cute. Da, 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 da. Um, so, it's the lie detector test is here. I personally do not like the way they did this. So, let me just go through it. We're going to talk about it. Um, and then it is what it is. So, you know, they call everybody down. And we know they already told us that four people had discrepancies. So, or, um, you know, a lie indicated, whatever. So, they called down, I think it was CeeLo and um, Shawnee first. And we know, I think Shawnee's question to CeeLo was, do you want to marry me? They reworded it, do you want to spend the rest of my life with me? His answer was yes. No, there was no um, deceit detected. So he was telling the truth. And then her question to him was, are you really with me because you love me? Something to the effect of, are you only here because it's convenient? Or do you really want to be with me? She told the truth. Cool. They're great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Move to the side. Then we had um, Ballistic and Jocelyn. Jocelyn's question to Ballistic was, do you want to marry me? His came back, discrepancy. Um, um, deceit was indicated. Okay. Her question was, if you don't, if I don't propose to you by May the 1st, are you going to leave me? She said yes. And they were like, no, nah, she meant that. She was like, yeah, I do. Let me say this. What I, re she said, I want to be married by the end of the year. I want to be, I want uh, proposed to me by May the 1st and I want to be married by the end of the year. Now, let me say this. You can look at this both. You can look at this from two sides. I, by the end of this episode, I felt like, kudos to you, Jocelyn. At the beginning of this process, I was like, you can't rush that man. Don't put no date on him. That's messed up. Don't do that. But by the end, I was like, by last, by, when I looked at this last night, I said, you know what? Kudos to you, Jocelyn, for saying, I love you and you love me. And either you're ready to commit to me or you're not. If you're not ready to commit to me, then I'm ready to move on and find somebody that is. Because this is where I am in my life and this is what I want. And I was like, you know what? Kudos. Kudos to you, Jocelyn. But anyway. So there was that. Then we had... Um, I want to say it was Styles and um, Ajua. I did not like what they did with this. The question to Ajua, the question that, that Styles asked Ajua was, do you blame me for our daughter's death? She said, no, no deception was indicated. Great. And he, and I know you could almost see the weight come off of him where he was just like, thank you, you know? But the question to him was, and I said this last week that I didn't think this was a fair question. Do you ha Did you have feelings for the woman or, you know, the woman that you had sex with? And he was like, lust is a feeling. And I agree. I think that was an unfair question. I really do. I don't think, because most people have a feeling for somebody, whether it's lust, whether it's attraction, whatever. You have some sort of feeling towards somebody you want to have, that you end up having sex with. And it was an ongoing thing. It wasn't like a one night stand. So clearly there were some feelings there. I think a more appropriate question should have been, do you still have feelings for the person you had the affair with? I don't know why they didn't change that. But anyway, what they said was, the answer is in the envelope. And they gave her the envelope and was like, you can look at the answer if you want to or not. I didn't like that. They were like, well, if the affair was so long ago and so much time has passed that, you know, she needs to really decide if that's important at this point. Clearly, she thought it was important. She asked the question. She wants to know the answer. I didn't like the way they did that. And I know they did this just to build up the drama, but I didn't like it. You pl you just playing with emotions. I didn't like it. So we already know we have one deception, right? Don't know about the second one because we don't know what the answer is. So then we get to um, Michelle and Stu. Michelle's question to Stu was, did you fall in love with me when you first in the first month or something crazy like that? Again, I thought it was a stupid question. His answer was yes, no deception indicated. Stu's question to her was, are you in love with me? Or do you love me? Something like that. She said yes, deception was indicated. So as far as I'm concerned, that should be the end of it, right? We're going to get back to them. So we now we know that we have two deceptions, right? 
No, three, because it was ballistic. Ballistic. No, two. Ballistic and um and now Michelet, right? Two deceptions. Okay, we know that there were four altogether. So who was the third one? I feel like I hold on. Okay, one, two, three. Who was the fourth one? Oh, b Ballistic, Michelet, that was two. Damn it. All right, let me keep going, because I remember as we keep going. So it was Michelet, it was Ballistic, and we don't know about the envelope. All right, so Bianca and um, Chosen. Chosen. Chosen, chose why. Um, the question that he had for Bianca was, "Have were you pregnant last year by anybody else other than me?" Her answer was no, uh, and they put her answer in an envelope and was like, you know. And again, I didn't understand why they did this. They put her answer in an envelope and told him, "You can open it if you want to open it." The question to her was, "Are you emotionally involved with somebody else?" Now he answered honestly. He said yes. So again, I feel like. That should be the end of that. You just told me that you have you are emotionally attached to someone else other than me. We came here to figure out if this is going to work. If you are still emotionally attached, this is not going to work out. So he was honest, but you know, whatever. So we know that. Now, they said it was four people. Y'all, my brain is killing me. Who was the third person? Because the fourth one is in one of those envelopes. We just don't know which envelope it is. Hold on. Michelet, one. Ballistic, one. What is the other deception? Well, shit. Hmm. I don't know. Hold on, y'all. I got to figure this out. This is killing me. I need to know which one it is. Hold on. Okay, my bad. It was it was Michelet and Stu. I was wrong. Stu was deception indicated, and so was Michelet. So, again, the two of them, I feel like that should be automatic. That's a wrap. Uh, Bianca and Chosen should be a wrap. Okay. So, I, what I didn't like was the fourth the fourth person, or the, four, the fourth deceit. We didn't know whether it was... Um, Aja was um, envelope or if it was Bianca's envelope. Now, Bianca's thing was, I know, I know, I know. I wasn't pregnant by nobody last year, so blah, 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 blah. Here's where the shit got ugly. After the ceremony, they were kind of giving everybody a break. You know how they let them get a little break or whatever. Bianca goes off. She's trying to rip the envelope out of Chosen's hand. She wants to know what it says. She's upset. Now, I listen... Do I think Bianca... Oh, let me say this. Shouts out. I owe Bianca an apology. Bianca t Bianca is not who I was thinking of. It was Brittany Taylor who accused Remy Ma of hitting her. It was not Bianca. So, Bianca, I owe you an apology. And I I, I thoroughly apologize um, for what I said at the beginning when I said that I ain't see it for you because I, I apologize. Even though I feel like I've been fair to you. I feel like I've been fair to you. But I do apologize. It was not you. My bad. My, mis my mistake. Um, so, I, I, I have a problem with that because now, I, I understand Bianca being upset, but her reaction was wrong. What she did was wrong. I understand her being upset, but she was wrong. She got physical. She put her hands on him. You know, she tried to rip the envelope out of his hand. Like, all of that was unnecessary. And especially when you knew, you already knew what your truth was. Like, it didn't matter. This man just said he's emotionally attached to another woman. So it doesn't, should it doesn't even fucking matter. Um, so security had to come break it up. Had to go put them in two separate rooms. Da, 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 da. And my thing is, once again, I feel like there is, um, a double standard. Because he put his hand, she put his hands on him, and you know, had it been another way around, they'd have been taking him out the house. He'd have been had, you know what I'm saying? But neither here nor there. The doctors went to go talk to them. They talked to them separately, and they realized, look, y'all are no further along than when y'all started. We gave y'all a second chance when we realized that y'all weren't really a real couple. We let y'all stay anyway. But it is clear that y'all are getting nothing out of this. There is no need to even do a ring ceremony, and they sent them home. 
And Bianca was really upset about it. And I'm like, bitch, you just showed your whole entire ass. You physically assaulted this man. You know what I mean? Like, and he just told you he loves another woman. And then at the end, she talking about something. We ended the win it. Child bye. And then I hear that she's pregnant by him. Child bye. Anyway, moving on with my life. Or had a baby by him at this point. So then we get to the ring. I ain't going to get into all the ins and outs, y'all. We get to the ring ceremony. Now, let me say this. I loved Ajua's dress. That tool and that whole... That was beautiful, Ajua. I don't know who designed it and all that, but that dress was gorgeous. Jocelyn's dress was pretty, too. It was black tool, and then it had a little cutout, a little peekaboo here, and you could see her bra. It was very Jocelyn. It was cute, and it was very Jocelyn. And when Ballistic saw her, baby, he was like... I mean, you saw it. He was like... Like, that's how a man is supposed to react when he sees his woman, right? Um, Shawnee gave us some, um, some, um, you know, Shawnee and CeeLo, they different anyway. Shawnee gave us, um, what was, what was the show called? The, um, the, the, the monsters with the, with the mother from the monsters had the, the high hair with the, she didn't have the white stripe, but she had this whole high hair thing going. It was very Shawnee. Like, I, it was the Shawnee CeeLo thing. So they went first. They gave each other the ring, right? It was, it was, it was cute. And he was like, you know, I love you. And... He said something along the lines of, I, this process made me realize that I can't live without you. I don't want to live without you or something to that effect. It was really, really cute. But she said that they had only, you know, had, had done the dirty one time since they've been here. Now, not that I ever, never, ever, 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 never want to picture CeeLo having sex with anybody. But one time, come on, y'all, y'all had to step that up. I know it's been, I know y'all been together, you know, for eight years, but come on, boo, y'all need to step that thing up. So, um, Ajua and Styles. Styles looked so cute. I'm sorry, he's a man. Shouts out to the cast meow. He's a man. He looked handsome, okay? He looked handsome, and I already told you I loved her dress. It was so beautiful, and it looked so pretty with her complexion. She's got beautiful brown skin. Oh, her melanin is popping. But anyway, um, he gave her the ring, and then she was like, you know, I love you, but not today. Baby, his face fell. He was like, what? Are you serious? Do you mean that? But then she had the ring on a chain around her neck. But she was talking about maybe, you know, making him understand and, and wait. But I think they're in a good place. And I do think that. I think he needed that lie detector test. I think he needed to hear that she did not blame him. And she did read the results. Oh, I forgot to tell you. So Brittany's results came back that she wasn't telling the truth. That she, you know. So that means obviously that it was Styles who lied. But I can't put a whole lot of weight into that. Because again, like I said, you guys... At the end of the day, um, I didn't like the way that question was worded. So emotions, yes, he had emotions at the time. He had feelings for her at the time. But the affair happened so many years ago. The question should have been, do you still have feelings? And I think that's the question she really doesn't want to know the answer to. Because she knew the answer to the first one. But neither here nor there. So they're good. Cute, cute, cute. Then we get to Michelle and um, Stu. Now, Michelle had already said to the ladies when they were like, are you going to put your ring in the box? And she said, it depends on what Stu does. And I knew in that moment she wasn't lying. She was serious. She was basing what she was going to do off of what he was going to do. And they came down, and she didn't have a ring in her box. But he had a ring in his box. So then she said, I changed my mind. And she pulls the ring out of her bra. And they're looking at her like, are you serious right now? And she was like, what? I mean, I realized I love, we gonna make it work. Da, da, da. And I'm thinking to myself, Stu, run. Run as fast as you can. Run as far as you can. Because that's ridiculous. If you can't even make up your mind about whether you want to be with somebody or not, based on, without them telling you whether they want to be with you, uh-uh, uh-uh, no ma'am, no Pam. Run. Fast. Then, last but not least, we have Ballistic and Jocelyn. Jocelyn gave him, gave her his ring, gave her the ring. You know what I'm saying. Jocelyn had a ring for him. He didn't have a ring for her. And to Jocelyn's credit, she ain't tear the place up. Because I was waiting for Jocelyn to be like, 
But she said, he said, well, you don't have nothing to say. She said, I'm waiting for an explanation as to why I don't have a ring in the box. Like, what's the problem? Baby, Ballistic said because. And he got down on one knee. And he proposed to his woman. And I liked it. I was here for it. I liked it. I like, I, I, I'm, I'm still a little nervous about Ballistic's um, jealousy. That does concern me. It, it really does. It definitely concerns me. But I think they need to continue counseling because I think that, again, their past trauma is really, really a lot, has a lot to do with what they're dealing with. But I definitely, because I, that ballistic, that makes me nervous. But I do think you love her and she loves you. But that, that jealousy thing, ballistic, ah, especially with a woman like Jocelyn. Jocelyn is going to be Jocelyn. You know, I think she's, I think that some of these exercises have helped her, but Jocelyn is going to be Jocelyn, honey. Anyway, that was it. Next week is a follow-up. I don't think I'm going to re review it unless there's anything deep that really comes up. But it's the where are they now kind of thing. Are the couple still together? Are they not together? Backstage, little known stuff that went down. So I probably ain't going to review that. Um, but like I said, I did hear that I believe that Bianca is pregnant or was or had the baby already. And word was that he wasn't at the baby reveal or the baby shower. So mm, we'll see how that worked out. Um... And I think the rest of the, I don't know about um, uh, Miss Chalet and Chosen. They shouldn't be, I mean, um, uh, Chef, they shouldn't be together. Chef, find somebody that really is going to give you the love you're giving out. I, 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 I can't, I can't with Miss Chalet. I cannot. Anyway, let me know what y'all think. Drop it in those comments. Peace.